Hey, hey, hello. Today I would like to introduce you to the basic compositing where we are going to join some basic text or 3D object with some movie clip. Um, we've got default cube, I will leave it as it is. I will just add some text. So let's go Shift A to add something and choose text, move it along the X axis. If I press zero to see it in the camera view, we can see that we've got those two objects. And when I press F12, we've got it rendered. But we want to have our video footage rendered in the background. How can we do it? We can make it in the compositing workspace. It's one of the options. Of course, there are more than that, but I will do it in compositing with nodes. So once we move to the compositing workspace, we can click on use nodes to show the nodes. And we've got two of them. Composite is the one that will output whatever we connect to and render layers is whatever on our scene. So of course we need to add our video clip to it. So just click here, Shift A, search and just type movie clip. This is the node we are looking for. Of course we need to open it. So just click open. I've got some footage of the lake on my desktop. Open clip. And now if I connect it to the composite node and I save it, maybe I will save it as this one, save Blender file and I press F12. This is what we are going to see. We can see only our footage because only this one is connected to the composite. We need to combine it. And how can we do it? In the compositing workspace, we've got something like, let me search for it, alpha, alpha over. This is what we are looking for. So I click on it, connect it there and it's on the top. So to the bottom, we need to connect this render layers. Let's connect it and the FAC settings should be set to one because we've got it on the bottom. So the FAC need to be set to one. Let's save it and let's go to the layout. And now if I press F12, we can see no footage, only anything that is on the scene. And this is because there is no alpha channel here. We've got no transparency. We have to turn it on. So let's go to this tab. Let's go to film and here we have to take the transparent on. Save it F12 and here we have it. We can see the footage in the background and our stuff in the foreground. Of course, to set everything properly, that would be really nice to see this footage in our camera. Yes, so we can do it. Just click on the camera, go to the camera settings and here we've got background images. Just take it on add image, choose movie clip and you can open it, but we've got it already in the program. So we can just click on the list, choose the like and here you have it. And now if I press N, go to view, camera to view, I can rotate it and set it so that I like it. Let's say I like it this way. I can save it, press space. And now you can see that we've got our footage playing in the background and our 3D models are in the front. Now, if you would like to render animation out of it, you can just press render, render animation and there you go. Of course, I don't want to do it. I will just render one still image, press F12 and here we have it. So this is how you combine some 3D stuff with the video footage in Blender.